experience is the best teacher, as they say. One must find a way even where there is no way. It's possible for us to look for an alternative when things are getting scary for both parties that love themselves. But having some terrible issues that can end the tie in tears. Of course, it's an undeniable fact that there is strong love relationship in between North and the Southern part of Nigeria. But I think the respect, love and mutual understanding that coexist in between would be more attractive and valuable when we got separated and everyone goes his way than we are now. Actually, me as an ignorant of the past and small boy with little reasoning capacity, I reason and believe that everyone is looking down to this neighbor, sincerely speaking, the southern part of the country, often accused not for being solely depending on their yoke. For they believe they own the oil wells and that's the best source of Nigerian wealth. Yes, it's true, we depend on them. They pay our bills. But what every saner folks should ponder is, where was Nigeria generating its income prior to oil discovery? How do they survive at then? And who took the burden of the rest before the oil boom? I'm sure by finding the answer to this series of questions, one will aptly phantom the hidden truth. Because the poor not of today was once the bills payer of the country some decades back. Only the discovery of oil crippled all the northern resources of all the northern sources of revenue, I beg your pardon. Alas, this has also become possible with the shabby effort of our leaders who chose to neglect agriculture deliberately, mining and other economic aspects that not could use to find a source of itself through them. Even when we still have another ways to look for our survival, for our survival apartment from those who can see now, from those we can now, we can see now. However, despite our incapability to produce more, to consume ourselves with what we have, we still have a chance to do that because it's not too late. Many countries with infertile land have managed to develop themselves through collective efforts. So, what do you think about North, which that is blessed with numerous natural resources that can be effectively harnessed to meet our demands? Let's succeed and see each one of our neighbor as foreigners. Let's demand visa for interborder transportation among ourselves and let's call each other as friends. That will sound better, I think. We can't be pity pitiably enduring such unending persecution from those who fed with from those we fed with our food some years back in the name of federalism and interregional friendship in this country. We, extremely, we are extremely tired of this nonsense. Finally, it's true the way is rough. It will be scary to move amidst a gloomy night without a friend or a helping hand. But above all, we can still develop despite the glaring challenges facing us. When someone is pushed to the wall, he can do impossible and he can even make and take the mentality of impossibility out of his sight. The future is bright. The North shall prosper, he said. All right, guys, what do you think by this article by Abdul Rahman Yunusa, where he says that we are good as one, but would be better when divided? Okay. Do you guys agree with Yunusa Abdul Rahman on this particular piece that he has written saying that we are good as one but 
would be better divided. Saying that the North has what it takes to be successful, the North has what it takes to be on their own without depending on the Southern oil. Well, if this is true and um, they have what it takes, then why not push for it? Then why is the presidency scared to dis uh, divide the country? Why is the presidency scared of the referendum that Nambi Kano has been asking for? Why are they scared of allowing the re other regions and ethnic groups to go their separate ways? No one is an island and nobody is saying that any particular region is better off more than the other, as the case may be. But what people are saying is the fact that things are not working, it will be better to allow those who want to go, to go. You cannot force everybody to remain one. Our ethnicity, our religions are different, and we do not share the same opinion in most of what we do. The amalgamation of the regions in 1914 was carried out by the UK and the Britain for their own selfish agenda. And that is what we are still suffering today. But be that as it were, if Yunusa Abdurrahman feels that the North can do better since they were paying the bills of the Southerners before the oil boom, then it is worth experiencing that they should be allowed to take their leave. They should be given the privilege and, on the, and the opportunity to go their separate ways so they can fend for themselves, so they can develop themselves and uh, everybody will be free. At least by then, we would not have the issue of the northern and southern dichotomy. We won't have this issue of marginalization that the southeast is crying about. There will not be the issue of 97% and 5%. And there will be no the issue of the north or the south is collecting our resources. There will be no issue of uh, der derivation or what have you. It will be develop yourself with what you have. And if you do not have this and you need it, you buy from other regions and country. However, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? He said, let's succeed and see each other as our neighbor as foreigners. Let's demand visa for interborder transportation among ourselves and let's call each other as friends. That would sound better, I think. Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, guys, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.